I'm Keith from Scheider Farms and this is Daisy and today we're here to talk about watering. Uh, watering is the number one reason for flowers either looking great or flowers looking really bad. And our most often asked question about taking care of plants is how often do I water? And our answer is always as often as they need it. And I know that's not what people like to hear but that's the best answer we can give because there are several factors that affect how often a plant needs water. And number one is the type of plant you're growing. Uh, flowers such as this petunia need watered a lot more frequently than flowers such as a begonia. Uh, another reason is the, plant, the size of the pot that you're growing in. A small, a small basket, like a hanging basket, as compared to a big deck pot, would need, need watered much more frequently because it holds less water. And the third um, thing that affects how often a plant needs water is the exposure to the weather. A plant in all day sun with a lot of wind will dry out much faster than a plant up on your porch that doesn't get any sun at all and very little wind. So when we're watering, um, the first thing we want to know, first question would be, how is does my plant need water? And the best way to check to see if your plant needs water is on a hanging basket the best way is to simply lift it up. If it's light, it needs water. If it's getting light, it needs water. If it's heavy, it's good. Um, the other way is just to reach your finger up in the soil, poke it down in the soil, and if it's getting drier on top, water it. If it still feels really wet on the top inch or so, um, leave it alone. So when we water, we want to I'm using a water breaker here. And you want to water just from the top, and it's always best to water in the morning. And you want to put enough water in to fully saturate the soil. And when you're done watering, check. And if the basket's heavy, you've done a good job. If it's still a little light, then you need to water a little more. At the end, after you're done, there should maybe be a little bit of water coming out the bottom of it. You don't want to allow too much water coming out because what that does is it one just waste water gets everywhere and two you leach out the fertilizer so it starves the plants more. Um, one of the problems people have watering is when the plant dries out it's hard to get re-wetted. What actually happens is the soil shrinks and it separates from the sides of the pot and then when you water the water just runs around between the soil and the pot and it goes right out the bottom and people think well it's running out my plants my pot's pretty wet when actually I didn't have time to soak in the root ball so if you checked it after that it would still be light what you need to do is water it a few minutes later come back and water it again and then a little bit later come back and water it again lift it up and see if it's heavy if it's heavy you've done good if it's still light then you better keep watering it because a lot of times people water it in the morning think it's wet and then it doesn't get real wet and then it dries out more in the afternoon and when your plant dries out several times it just gets weaker and weaker and becomes more susceptible to disease and insects so if you just follow these tips on watering and taking care of your plants you'll have happy plants and gardening will be much more fun and I want to thank you for watching our video We'll see you in the next one.